Welcome everyone to another video today. My name is Nicholas or Nick Greer. It doesn't even matter to me, so let's jump into it. Rock Slide made his first appearance in New Mutants, Volume 2, Issue 3, in September of 2003. He was created by Nazino De Flippis and Christina Rare. Santo Vaccaro was born a mutant where he, where he was sent to the Xavier Institute where he became friends with Julian, aka Hellion. He will be selected by the telepathic mutant known as Emma Frost to, to join the Hellions. When Julian invited the Hellions to come over to California where he originates from, the team encountered the Kingmaker, who's known for making deals with people by offering them anything they wish for. Santa wished to be a superhuman wrestler, but of course, the Hellions declined for obvious reasons. Like, no one isn't dumb enough to fall for that nonsense. Because of this, Kingmaker shattered Rockslide into pieces with his laser blast, but was put back together by Julian's telekinesis. The team would defeat Kingmaker afterwards. During M-Day caused by Scarlet Witch, Rockslide was one of several mutants to keep their powers. After the depowered mutants were on their way home, William Stryker bombed a bus full of depowered mutants, killing them instantly. William Stryker is a villain that has a strong hatred to towards mutants. After attending a funeral for those who, di who died in that tragic event, Rockslide joined a group where they trained to become an X-Man. This was during the time the government sent a squad of sentinels to watch over the remaining mutants. Sentinels are giant robots that hunt down mutants. Rockslide will once again be shattered when, he, when the team tried to confront the highly advanced sentinel named Nimrod. After defeating Nimrod, Julian and Mercury, a member of the team, tried putting him back together, but this was unsuccessful. Fortunately, he reforms himself, becoming more larger and rugged looking. In the quest for magic event, Rockslide and a few mutants were captured by Belasco, a evil sorcerer. Once Rockslide was shattered once again, he reforms into a magma rock form. With the help of Ayana Rasputin, aka Magic, with a K, the rest of the mutants went back home. During the World War Hulk event, an event where Hulk seeks revenge against the Illuminati after they kicked him off of Earth for obvious reasons because we all know that Hulk likes to destroy things. Rockslide was defeated by having his arms ripped off. His arms were thrown at a very far distance, preventing him from reforming. His arms was eventually located afterwards. With the new X-Men attack the purifiers, Rockslide and X-23, the clone of Wolverine, managed to break through Lady Deathstrike's armor. Lady Deathstrike is a supervillain that has long, sharp adamantium fingers. He, alongside Iceman and the new X-Men, were seen aboarding the X-Jet. Rockslide is seen pulling Pixie away from Nightcrawler after she stabbed him with a soul dagger, a shard manifested by her soul. When Magic went to retrieve her sword, Rockslide was placed on a team where they traveled to Limbo, a dimension, mainly because the whole team is resistant to Magic. Entering Belasco's castle, Magic was defeated by Belasco's daughter, Witchfire, and Pixie was turned into a demon. Rockslide and Mercury are seen battling the mind-controlled Colossus and Wolverine. Rockslide would join Cyclops' team and would attend his funeral when he died. He would make minor appearances later on and would be killed by the Summoner, the son of Bracken, who's the first horseman of the ancient powerful mutant known as Apocalypse. His remains were used as a portal for the Ten of Swords challenge. Now let's move on to his powers and abilities. Since Rockslide is somewhat similar to Ben Grimm, aka The Thing, 
He has super strength, endurance, durability. He can shoot his hands off his body as projectiles. He can reform himself if shattered. He can explode himself, basically self-destruct. 